So we're out here testing some wind stuff and we took unused 69 grain 223 ammo and ammo that we didn't have uh, 147 tap in the 65 Creedmoor and we took wind measurements along the path to make sure that it was relatively constant and it was and we had an average of about 10 miles an hour and we shot a group at 600 yards aiming at the same point to measure the drift. Now with calculators we can have those predictions made but sometimes it's nice to see the reality of the drift and compare them and measure them also. So that's what we have here. I aimed at this aiming point and we had approximately whatever this mills out to be drift to the left at 600 yards with the Creedmoor and then it's it's almost that same distance over to the 223 and so it's almost double the wind drift in this 223 at 600 yards in these conditions. Now we can talk about wind speed and we can talk about wind angle and the effect. Sometimes it's nice to see what the overall effect is by watching where those bullets drift to and think about those numbers, think about how that works and how you would change your wind calls if you didn't have the tools that could make those predictions for you. And some of that is getting this hard data, taking pictures and then talking about the numbers, milling it out with our reticles and moving forward from there.